up guys welcome back to the channel i'm will this is white bites not doors and today we have a full video fishing the nantahala river upper portion between the power station and white oak creek this section in particular is labeled as delayed harvest uh, only which means i think it's october to may uh, you cannot take anything out of the river it's only catch and release as well as a limit to your uh, your lures as being single hook artificial lure only live bait may not be possessed at all as you fish so keep that in mind if you're ever in uh, that area and just a side note always check the regs there should be a diamond shaped sign somewhere diamond shape that was a diamond shape sign somewhere uh, on the river beside the river that tells you what regulations are in that particular waterway uh, as I said it can change and uh, between two pieces that are still connected obviously if you're there on the Antahala upper portion you can go all the way up to where White Oak Creek hits uh, the river and that's where it changes into hatchery supported which is a whole different regulation so just keep those kind of things in mind as you fish the mountains here in North Carolina and I'm sure Tennessee is going to be very similar I have not fished over there myself personally so you just have to check that out before you go always know before you go uh, and next year, or next week, I'm headed to Lake Chattooga on the border between North Carolina and Georgia with my brother-in-law as he scouts out some uh, of the, the lake for a tournament that's coming up in the next few weeks. And uh, we'll be looking for some spots, some smallmouth, and that's going to be a really good video. That'll probably be in the beginning of the year. This will probably be my last video of 2023, so I hope you like it. And here it is. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that cool stuff. And we'll see you after the video. All right, so <clears throat> we switched over from the, I think the 610 medium to this light rod. It's about five, six, I believe, uh, Berkeley lightning rod. We're going to start off the day with the glitter black like I do every morning and kind of work our way up from there. All right, here we are. You can see the little power station over there. They're already over here jumping out of the water. I just saw one breaking. And this is, uh, as I said, our start. This is the Wishon fishing hole. They like to sit right along that current over there. Let's see, put my arm down here. All the way over there. That rock up there is a good place. But they also like to sit right, right in here. So, they're active this morning, I just saw. Let's see what happens. Wind is cold, water's clear, and we're good to go. Let's do the first cast here. See what happens. Caught a rock, first try. Haven't got it to that spot yet. Got a more of an angle here, so I don't have to pull my lure as fast. Current's decent. Just got a bite, I think, or I hooked him in his gill. I'm not 100% sure, but he got off a good little size. But my hands are already freezing. I guess I gotta get some gloves or something to tell my hands the man up. Oh, I got another tug there. I need to commit. There 
go. There we go. We should breathe for a second. So here we go. That is not bad at all. Actually, I think that's a brown, not a rainbow. So that thing is beautiful. Really good size. All right, well, there's catch number two. A little rainbow. Let's get them off the hook, shall we? Oh, he got it. Oh, gosh. Oh, there he goes. Well, got him back. Okay. Oh, caught him twice. That count as three catches. All right, here we go. Beautiful look at that thing, man. He's just saying, he's just screaming, like, subscribe to the channel. Where are you going? Don't come back to me. Go back out there and tell your brothers to hit him something else. Hit me again. All right. Two for the day so far. First hour. Not bad. Here we go. Let's go for number three. See how low the river is. All the way down almost to the bottom of the scale itself. I think we're usually about that two foot mark or more. It's shallow. Super careful out here. I'm gonna get jacked up in a second. Beautiful. But it's dangerous. He ain't much. But uh this is why you throw everywhere. Even if you don't think there might be anything in there. All right, so it's a baby, but uh, he hit it good. So I got him right over there, right on that rock. Try to put him back over there. He's a little tired. I don't think he liked that too much. There he goes. Oh, a beautiful little rainbow. He's tiny. But look good. Oh gosh. What in the world? That's a first. I don't think I've ever hooked a trout quite like that. Got him right across the fin. Nice little brown. Good brown. I'll get you off in a second, buddy. Here we go. about my luck with this lure is that I'm catching them on the fin because the lure ain't caught nothing today except for a tiny little rainbow. So, there we go. Like, subscribe, hit that bell. All right, well, that's it. All right, fifth catch, I believe, of the day. A little rainbow hooked in the bottom of the jaw. Ah, there we go. There we go. Five for the day is not, a, not exactly good.
Golly. Did you just commit already? <laughs> Put a ring on it. Oh, get out of here, you little fish. Come on. I ain't looking for something your size. There's a minnow around there trying to bite it. Alright, we've moved up the river a little bit. We're gonna see what we can do here. Gotcha. Golly, that's a good size one too. See that? I'm gonna have a winning combination here. Alright, buddy. Let me get this out your jaw. Here we go again. Another day, another rainbow. He ain't happy though. He is not happy. Oh no, that's not a rainbow. That's a little female brook trout. Beautiful. Female brook trout. Alright, let's get this hook out of your mouth. There we go. So, fun fact. A lot of times we think these, the Appalachian uh, brook trout is that red color, but the females don't have that, only the males. So this is a female brook trout. Beautiful still, got a little bit of red on the fins. See a little worm design on the top. It's awesome. All right, there she goes. I need to get a underwater release GoPro. I should get some old cheap seven or something put it on a float so you guys can see that seems a lot of people like that idea so that'll be coming in the future you know when you look at this I don't know how people could uh, ever just trash this leave trash out here I mean this is the heart of what we do keep it clean keep it open don't trash our outdoor spaces why well because of this I mean look at this why would you leave a beer can out here? Why would you leave your trash, your baby diapers, whatever? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you, people who litter are the lowest form of humanity possible. They're just idiots. They're, they're, they don't have any desire to see anything passed on to the next generation. It's all about today. It's all disposable just mess everything up as long as I'm having a good time and that's just not good all right rant's over evidently all I have luck for is uh rainbow trout today really i think i caught one brown one brook and a whole bunch of these guys bro you just hooked yourself again why would you do that all right let's try and do an underwater release here without losing everything here we go.
Come on. Bite the freaking thing. Had a nice brown on there and went to grab my net. Flopped off. Oh, I'm trying to finish off the day good here, but it ain't really working. I'm telling you what, but this is a pretty good size spot here, so hopefully I can grab something else out before I gotta head back home to the girls. Not getting away this time. Piece of trash. Well, you're not a brown. And you're not that big. But I'll take it. Another free. Another feisty, slippery, rubbery, angry little rainbow. Oh man. There he is. Beautiful. Oh gosh. See if we can get another underwater shot, huh? You let me do that. Go and do this here. Okay, well, I think I got six or seven for the day. I'm gonna try and finish. back home to the girls all right so we have spotted a giant rainbow so I'm trying to stay out of line of sight we're ready to go let's see if we can bring her home Gotta. You just gotta. Well, I don't think that's the monster, but it's definitely another fish. As you can see there, it is another rainbow. It's not the one I was hoping for. Oh, nope. It's a brown. Nice. One of the only browns I've got today. Anybody? All right, let me let you breathe for a second. I gotta get my forceps out. I gotta get a new pair of forceps. These things suck. Thumbs slide through them. Let's do this again, shall we? get this please pretty good size one right there another fat rainbow for the day gosh gosh she's been caught once or twice already though she must be hungry all right cool all right guys that's gonna do it for 2023 merry christmas happy new year whatever else that you might do i don't really know uh it's all up to you up to me we can do whatever it is that we feel like doing uh we celebrate christmas we the birth of christ and all that good stuff so for me 
to you. It's a Merry Christmas, and I hope that your new year is better than it has ever been. Ever, I guess. But don't forget to hit that bell uh, for notifications, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff so that in the new year you don't miss any of the exciting trips we're going to be taking. We're going to be doing quite a few lake trips as well as some more rivers. Obviously, my big passion is river and trout, uh, but pretty much everybody else, my brother-in-law, my father-in-law, and, uh, my, and, and Mike, as you guys saw in some of the videos last year, are all big bass fishermen and then boat fishing lakes and stuff like that. So we'll have that whole kind of mix of things that you guys can enjoy as well as our other content we'll be having as gear reviews and trails and hopefully get back in the off-road one day uh, as well as hunting and just a whole lot of stuff. We want to really cover everything that the outdoors has to offer. So with that being said, remember in the new year to keep it clean, keep it open, and always remember that adventure favors the bold. So go out, May 2024, your boldest, best, most awesome year ever. We love all you guys. We appreciate your support. And we will see you on the other side. Peace.